Nearly 2,000 skiers and snowboarders are in Vail for the National Brotherhood of Skiers, which is celebrating its 50th year of bringing diversity to skiing and snowboarding. And part of that celebration includes art and fashion. Yeah, our man in the mountains, Matt Renew, is in Vail this morning. And Matt, an artist whose work is known all over the world, showing his new series of paintings with the hope that they're going to inspire other people of color to get out on the mountain to start skiing and snowboarding. You're right, Jordan Corey. Good morning. That series is called Skiing in Color. The artist is Lamont Joseph White. He's here at the National Brotherhood of Skiers 50th Summit. And his artwork can be found all over town, including on skis at a lot of the shops here. Work that he hopes will show the strength, joy, and inclusiveness in skiing. Even on a powder day in Vail, we have fresh powder. I just did first tracks with a bunch of friends. Lamont Joseph White took a break from snowboarding that would be great. so he could talk about his art. As much as my work is about joy and celebration of those who are on the mountain like myself, um, I hope it's also an invitation to those who want to be and aren't quite there yet. Lamont is among the nearly 2,000 skiers and snowboarders in Vail this week for the National Brotherhood of Skiers 50th Summit. And at the Colorado Snow Sports Museum. Moving the mountains around. Alongside all the history here, Lamont's work is now on display. It's really a montage of the elements of Vail. Work that's part of a new series called Skiing in Color, showing the fashion and style people of color have brought to skiing and snowboarding through the decades. That was pretty much the name that came right, in, right away to me with regards to painting these subjects. Um, who just happen to be uh, skiers and just happen to be people of color. And something Lamont hopes will also help create feelings of strength and belonging. We're all conditioned through life, um, through certain norms. I want to help change that norm. So the more that I give you the representation through my work of black and brown people, I think the more welcoming um, that will feel along with some of the joy he feels when it's a powder day up on the mountain for me the mountains are obviously a place of joy we all love the mountains in colorado Lamont had a big meet and greet at the snow sports museum last night and there's a lot going on at the national brotherhood of skiers 50th summit here in Vail today telemark and snowboard races are going to have a freestyle competition and corey and jordan mix master mike DJ Logic and Neo all performing in concerts tonight. So it's a busy place here in Vail. And of course that artwork all over, look at that ski. How awesome is that? So talented. And you know, Matt, I was seeing some video from Vail's base over the weekend. It was packed there. It is. They expect about 2,000 people to take part in this summit this year. Clubs from all over the country. It is definitely a happening event here in Vail. So, you know, what a great time, too, because mm -hmm. they got the concerts, they got the racing, they got all these events, they got meet and greets. It's a lot more to do than just skiing and snowboarding, although that's the primary focus. You know, Matt, I was listening to your report. You know, the whole time it kept dawning on me just how important the work of this artist is because it's kind of sad to think about how scarce the visuals are of people of color on the mountain. So hopefully this will bring that diversity to the mountains. You're right. This is after 50 years of work to try to bring more diversity to the mountains. But uh, you're right. Hopefully that artwork will help make an impact. I mean, it's just cool to see skis like that mm -hmm. as well. Bring more diversity to the mountains, more people to ski and snowboard in Colorado and have fun in the snow. What's wrong with that? Incredible art. Such a fun time. All right, Matt. Thank you.